Hello, Royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Today we gather to celebrate the strength and resilience of a true leader within the royal family. Princess Anne takes charge as the Queen's absence casts a shadow over Balmoral, proving herself to be the unspoken leader of the clan. Join me as we explore the remarkable qualities of Princess Anne and the pivotal role she plays during this bittersweet time. But before we move on to any further details, I would love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. Perfect. Let's get started. So, as King Charles and Queen Camilla continue Queen Elizabeth's tradition of gathering the royal family at Balmoral for the summer, the absence of the late queen will undoubtedly be felt by all. Body language expert Darren Statton emphasizes that Princess Anne will be the glue that holds them together. Providing a much-needed pillar of strength for her relatives, her resilience and stoicism, traits inherited from her mother make her an essential figure in maintaining emotional stability during this challenging period. Princess Anne shares a unique bond with the Queen, stemming from their shared work ethic, sense of humor, and love of horses. Often regarded as the hardest working role, and consistently engages in numerous appearances and engagements, setting an example for others to follow. Her dedication was evident when she accompanied her mother's coffin on the six-hour journey from Balmoral to Edinburgh, going above and beyond to honor the Queen's memory. While the Queen used to extend her stay at Balmoral until October, King Charles is expected to have a shorter trip before returning to his public engagements. In the wake of the change of reign, King Charles and Queen Camilla have made Burke Hall their temporary residence. However, the family is still expected to come together at Balmoral during the summer, albeit with some adjustments being made to their diaries. Balmoral holds a special place in the hearts of the royal family, particularly the late queen. It was her happy place where she spent most of her summers and cherished tranquility of the estate. The vast 50,000-acre property in the Dee Valley of Aberdeen provided a respite from the public eye, allowing the family to explore the outdoors and indulge in horse riding. Stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.